looks through the through the looks through the looks. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Jared Patrick. Hey, <laughs> hey guys. So um, I'm back on YouTube and everything. It's been a while and a very long time. I took like almost a year and some change and everything and so too. So yeah, um, it was a whole lot going on, a whole lot mess. But I'm gonna save that for like another video and everything and talk to you guys why i took such a huge break and stuff like that and why i'm coming back to youtube and everything but um this video i really want to do for vlogmas and it's gonna be for vlogmas day three and everything too so and i think celebration for 12 days of christmas and i really wanted to do this and really kind of make this my return back to youtube and everything so i'm so excited about doing this and spending this time with you guys and everything too so for this video i was inspired by vogue's i'm not sure if you guys seen vogue um like fashion through the years look and everything and i wanted to go down memory lane with you guys so it's a way kind of the people who don't know me and i don't know you oh first of all i just thought about something hey um yeah if this is your first time watching my youtube channel make sure you like comment subscribe to my channel jared patrick and you can find me on all social media platforms at it's jared patrick ITS jared patrick period and so um yeah make sure you guys like comment subscribe and everything to this video and also tell me what video um looks you guys do love in this video and everything so anyways let's fast forward the first look i'm doing is baby jared and everything and as i said i'm going to insert the pictures and stuff like that so you guys can see as it says so this look is like an iconic picture of me with my teddy bear and i'm up here and i'm looking at my monitor down here so guys i'm wearing stuff like that but it's me with my Tims and my flannel and my overalls and everything too and it's so funny about this look this look is so like classic americana look and everything too and i love this picture of me of like so innocent and so got the oh my god those big brown eyes of mine and everything so and i love this picture and it's so funny i will wear this outfit like i would love to recreate this and do like an editorial spin of it have anybody ever seen like that episode of top model when they did like the photos their baby photos and did like a updated version of an editorial look of it and everything and i think i'm really want to do that so i think that'll be really dope that should make a idea i might do that and so to and post it on on um i should do that for my birthday i have some time to plan it out and i kind of can recreate that so i might do that for my birthday we'll see we'll see stay tuned but i love this look it looks amazing it's classic and i look so cute and everything so yeah <laughs> my next look Fast forward to early 20s of Jared, fresh, still in college Jared. Uh, this look, I remember this photo vividly because um, my um, Bruce, Bruce took it. <laughs> Bruce actually took this picture of me. We was actually in New York. It was our first trip. I think really one of our first trips out of DC together and everything, or one of them. And uh, we went to New York for Black Pride Weekend, I believe, or Gay Pride Weekend. I'm not sure what it was and everything, too. Um, so, this is one of the looks I came from. I'm actually wearing this jacket. It's considered an outerwear jacket. So, I actually got this jacket from Zara. And, um, and I paired it with a pair of biker shorts that were like arm, um, they were like a hunter print and everything too and i got the shoes too from zara they were like this metallic um low top sneaker and everything and then the necklace the chain choker necklace that actually um i actually made that i got the um materials from was it joanne's or it was hobby lobby hobby lobby actually because i made this necklace and there's a whole backstory with this necklace um it's one of my sta staple pieces that i always wear as like a choker and everything so i'm not necessarily wearing one right now i'm wearing like a little fake pearl one but this look was so um i got that be necklace i'm like stuttering right now but I don't care <laughs> but i got that neck i made that necklace because i actually one of my friends at the time I was in college they had a jewelry line together my friend brianna and ashley 
And then I wanted them to make me a choker so I could promote it and stuff like that. Because on campus, a lot of people knew me for my, my style and my fashions and everything, too. So, and they told me, why don't you make it yourself? So I was like, oh, okay. And so I ended up making this choker and stuff. And I love this gold choker because I was, like, um, one of my favorite videos is um, You The One for Rihanna. And she had, like, this gold choker. And then I always always say, I wanted a gold choker. But I know I can't before real for 14 karat gold. And so, because it's going to cost $1,000, I'm going to broke college student. So, I made that, and I got it from, I think, for it was like less than 15 bucks. And it lasted me for a very, very long time. And um, and somebody actually took it, stole it from me. Funny story, but I had it for a very, very long time and everything. Too. So, yeah, and I need to make another one. Maybe I'll do a DIY for that. <laughs> so, let's talk about the Afro punk look so it was my first year going to afro punk i actually got a a free ticket not necessarily a free ticket but my friend shay who's one of my good girlfriends she's actually going on my birthday trip in january for my birthday and everything i can't wait stay tuned for that that's gonna be really fun and um i'm not gonna tell you yet where i'm going but stay tuned but um she um she, I did some photography work for her and everything, and she said, I have this ticket, and I don't want to pay you, and stuff like that, but I also want to give you some extra, because it was so much work that I did, and so she said, I can't go to Afropunk anymore, but would you want to take my ticket, and stuff like that, so she gave me her ticket for Afropunk, and so when I was going everything, I knew Afropunk was, is anybody that's been to Afropunk, they know for their style, fashion, it's like a big fashion event, festival, and stuff too, I think it's better to honestly, me, in my opinion, it's better than Coachella. That's my opinion, stuff like that. Um, so they have every, literally every big fashion magazine or blog, stuff like that, they, people are taking a picture consistently and everything. And one of my good friends from college, Amani, she, uh, Imani, she um, actually made this shirt for me, stuff like that, it was a flannel. I, and she did it, she like designed it, deconstructed it, and added these like piquet, type of lapels I don't even know what you'll call it and it's just these jewels and I'm so mad about this shirt because I'm on my way back to DC I left it on a train in New York so some homeless person has that shirt and it sucks badly because I spent so much money on that shirt and I wanted to get it replaced and I never did it <laughs> so anyway, but that was such a fun day I was so like inspired by what I saw there and everything. I felt some of that. I felt like my looks weren't that strong enough and everything too. So, but yeah, it was a great moment. <laughs> <clears throat> so the next look is this blazer look I did. Oh my God. So I did a shoot. Um, My good, good friend, Kayla. Love you, Kayla. If you watch this video, period. Love you, girl. Um, me and Kayla went to college and everything too. Um, after graduating, graduating and everything, Kayla has always like been one of my like muses as a photographer, and I've as like I've styled Kayla. Um, she when I was me and my friend Dale was working on like a magazine once upon a time. We was going to publish our own magazine. I used ask Kayla can she post stuff like that and everything too because we wanted to create like an editorial story and everything too that a style and everything and she's just like she's such a phenomenal model and everything and so she actually was working on her own venture and everything too I'm not sure if she's still doing it or not and that's I gotta ask her about that if so I'll make sure to mention in my next video, whatever. But she um asked me to model for her. I was like, what, me model? What? <laughs> like, I because I'm so retired from modeling because I used to be part of modeling troupe in college called Exquisite. Um, So it's been a very long time since I was like model or like even do like any type of editorial picture and stuff like that. So she came up with this whole concept called Business As Usual. That was the print of the idea behind it or the creative concept behind it. She created, directed it, styled it and everything too. So we literally did this like matrix kind of look. So, and it was like, it was like, like very androgynous and we did blazer we had a matching sunglasses me and the girls so i've got the model's name 
um, Jaden, that's her name. It's right here, Jaden. I think that's her name. Um, and we like posed together and everything too. So it was really cool. It was really hard too because I was working with a partner and she was nervous, but we had so much good fun and great chemistry together. So it became it was a phenomenal shoot. And we had like these gorgeous photos. Like these photos to me are like so timeless and everything too. And um, shout out to the ph photographer, brother, brother. I actually shot him. That's his IG name and everything. But um, I shot actually for him again. I modeled for him for uh his um his magazine cover and stuff um a few years later or I think it was following that year and everything. I can't recall. So to but I'll make sure to post that in this video so you guys can see that cover. And then um, but I love these photos. Me and Kayla did. It was like amazing. It was so editorial, so dope. It was high conceptual, and I just like really saw myself as a model and I like I remember I was like working out to get skinny so I said girl if you want I'm be doing these photos baby I gotta get back in model shape and everything so so my body in these photos were like amazing for me for me maybe not right now but for me <laughs> the Vegas look okay Vegas this look iconic Period. So I went to Vegas for my friend Ray Vaughn's 30th birthday. And this look was stellar. It was just like stellar. Um, So this jacket that I was wearing, this vest, is cut open in the back. You can't see in this picture. I don't think I took a picture of it from the back and everything. I was originally supposed to wear this for my birthday early that year when I went to Atlanta for my birthday but the jacket took like a month for the jacket they get here actually a month and a half because I was like messaging the girl that owned it and stuff like that I'm not gonna say the name and everything too because I have a little PTSD from it and everything too but I eventually got my blazer and stuff like that that I spent a lot of money on and everything too period and so my friend Ray Vaughn he was like Jerry I want you to come to my I want you to come to Vegas with me and I want you to shut it down and stuff like that so I had this look and usually when I do when I go out of town or whatever I usually like plan on my looks so that way when I'm on a trip I don't have to put too much thought into them like okay I'm gonna wear this for this the only time I decipher what I'm actually gonna wear is when I actually get there and I'll be like, okay, I'm gonna wear this look for this day, this look for that day, this look for this day, and that look for that day, every day, period. So, but for this one particular night, I knew it was like we was going out. We were supposed to go on a party bus, but that got canceled, whatever, so like that. But we ended up going to Fremont Street in Vegas. And it was like my fourth, third, fourth or fifth time going to Vegas, whatever. And so um, I came upstairs, the shoes, let me tell you, my feet was on fire the whole night. I wanted to take them shoes off so badly, but I survived because the hill was so high for me. And I'm not dumb, not no, I don't really walk in heels like that and everything too, like a long period of time. So it was a while since I wore some heels and it was some heels. So I paired it with these, um, these old um, H&M H&M jeans. I bought these like back in high school and I like distressed them because I had it such a long time because I think they ripped them between the thighs. So I said, oh, let me just rip them and stuff like that. And I still have those jeans and stuff like that. So those jeans are probably over 10 years old because I literally got it in high school. I think I got it like when I was 16 or something and everything. And now I'm 28. Mm, everything, girl. I'm getting old, period. And then um, I paired it with this like as a McQueen knockoff dupe bag this dupe bag and stuff like that and then i did like these gold stacked neck um necklaces and everything which i was when i made all came together and i did it with like a nice little aviator that she bought when i was in in vegas and everything at the mall there and everything so this look came together it was iconic people my I remember in the morning i woke up my phone was like super hot and warm because the picture just blew up and everything with everybody so i said yeah so that part and i love this look it's so i think it's iconic screams vegas which i was going for and then had the high top fade at the time and everything which i love the hairstyle that's like my second time having a high top fade, fade and everything too so yeah it was such a dope moment the return to atl weekend i remember this picture you guys probably seen this picture on my last like actually my last last video before i went on hiatus but i went to atl for um 
ATL Black Pride weekend and everything too. And one of the nights we went out and I'm so mad because I shouldn't even make it to the club that night. But this outfit was just so iconic. I put this actually together last minute. And it's funny, I'm wearing the same jeans I'm wearing the previous look and everything too. And I just tell you, those jeans just like, they just, I never get rid of them because they always come in handy for something. So I had this black leotard that I wore like multiple times and stuff too. I originally bought it for her. Early actually early that year because I went to a deviant party which is really fun and I dressed up like it was a Playboy bunny. But I had some black gloves and stuff from that outfit so I paired them together and I had my white boots and I stole the glasses. Um, I didn't steal those glasses. Did I sell those glasses? They're from what? I borrowed them from um, Dallas. Sorry, big sis. <laughs> if you ever watched this. But Dallas, actually he left those glasses in my bag or something so they made it to Atlanta with me and they worked out for this look and everything it was so funny in my hair at the time too i was trying to like curl it so i did like a dry flat twist and stuff too and then i lay it in there while i got ready and got dressed and everything i was like helping everybody get ready and everything and so we end up i end up putting this look together and i was like i want to sit in bed and i'm just gonna take a picture and stuff like that and pose and i had the time bia was Bia's my girl and everything. Bia's like, I'm looking my nickname, Bia, period. But um, that was when Harmony, her song first came out. With, um, if I send in my body, bitch, I'm done up, period. That was the caption. And that picture hit major numbers and everything, too, which was like dope. Even though numbers already mad, but people was in love with this look. And I was obsessed with this look and everything. And I was like, I did that. And I was very proud of myself and everything. People was asking about me the next day about this picture and stuff too. But I had a really fun night that night and everything. And I was drunk later that night. And I actually had a walk back down the hill, back to the hotel in those hills. Oh my God, because I was embarrassed to take my shoes off. Because this was in the middle of the day in Atlanta, in downtown, like midtown Atlanta. But anyways, iconic look. <laughs> we have to stop for this look. This next look is for my 28th birthday. And this was the Mariah the Scientist inspired look. Um, so for my 28th birthday, I was going through a lot, lot and everything. The last like, almost like less than a month and stuff like that was just really tough for me. And I'm gonna talk about that part in a separate video and everything, but um, um, but um, why I went on hiatus, not even why I went on hiatus, I was, it was probably the reason why I went on hiatus and it was and thus far and everything. But I wanted, I was the summer ride of sciences, actually the whole summer, that's when I went to ATL and stuff like that. That's like, yeah, I started, I like fell into the ride of sciences and I just fell in love with her music and everything. And her music to me was like very healing for me. And, it were, and even our music kind of dark. And so too, but it's very cathartic and stuff like that. So I wanted to like pay homage to her um, master's album cover and stuff like that. So I recreated the um, cover shoot and everything. I was originally supposed to have my friend Portia, hey Portia, Portia, and um to shoot the cover of it. But um at the time, um but at the times of like that, um my boyfriend now. Chaz, love you, baby. <laughs> um, he actually chats my boyfriend. He's a photographer and stuff like that. So at the time, we just when we first started to, like talking and stuff like that, and um, I asked him, can he shoot the shoot this um for my birthday and everything too? So we shot it over his house, actually in his kitchen and everything too, and got this beautiful piece of work and stuff like that. And I bought the blazer. Blazer came. I got it from um. I didn't get that blazer from Passion Nova, if I'm not mistaken. And then um, we recreated it. I originally wanted a guy to like to create it with like the um, hand behind the neck and stuff like that. Because I was going to have my friend Tyrus shoot it with me and stuff like that. And, and Tyrus is one of my really good friends and stuff that I photographed like I photographed a bunch of times and everything. So he's such a talented model. And but I wanted to recreate that. And but. I just end up just doing myself because then one of the photos like not the main album cover but she does shoot like by herself and everything so and so it was my way of paying homage and saying thank you too and fun fact she actually liked this and commented on twitter about this picture and stuff like that and a lot of the her fan base loved this picture and everything too so it was a very great memory and great moment 
for myself and everything too. So that picture is forever holds a very special place in my heart and everything too. And the picture is just iconic. I'm just playing homage to her and stuff like that. Would I wear it again? Probably so. I haven't actually worn a blazer again. I only wore it at one time. It's actually still sitting in my closet, but it's a piece I think I'm gonna archive and stuff. Baby, we're gonna get into this 28. And so, to, so my actual day, my birthday, I did this look. I was feeling myself, feeling myself, and feeling myself, and feeling myself, and feeling myself, period. I did this all black look and everything. I wanted to do black because I was just feeling very dark. It's dark for my birthday. My birthday, my 20th birthday was fun, but also it was. I was sad too at the same time and happy inside and everything. But um I got this jacket I ordered and everything from a Toro, a Toro, wherever the brand is. I'll link it down um in my um description um description box and stuff like that and write it down stuff like that. But um this look came together. I went to um some expensive restaurant in DC and everything for my birthday with my friends and I had this whole look together and everything. Took pictures, everyone loved it. People stopped me. I was taking pictures with people at the restaurant because they wanted to take pictures of me and everything too. So that was really cool. But the picture was really cool. But it was really cold that day, but it was very this outfit was so warm. It was so perfect. It was so chic. And it was to me it was very sexy. And I think it did what it had to do. Period. The part. Yeah. Next picture is from the Mariah the Scientist concert. You know I love Mariah the Scientist, period. So um, me and my boyfriend went to the Mariah the Scientist concert and everything too. And my look was inspired by our, um, the local laboratory. Um, look that she did with like um, for the promo pictures. So she had like this like um, suit and tie, but she had like a dress skirt and then she did like the pants. So I just did a different look and I just I kept the same inspiration from it and I did the suit and tie with a blue tie I kept the shirt open crop I wanted to actually get a crop shirt and stuff like that later time and then I did this old vintage blazer that I've had for years and I did my black oversized um straight leg jeans and stuff and then I did like the sexy Adonis underwear and then I did white sneakers with it and everything too and I'd have my glasses and stuff that was like similar to hers and stuff and everything so I did it and I just felt really cool badass and everything too it was actually really warm that day too so it was a little it was a little warm, but by the time the concert was over, it was cooled down, stuff like that. But I love this look and everything, too. And then, uh, me, it's funny, me and my boyfriend actually is, was matching low key because my tie had this electric blue tie and it matches this electric blue pants. So, everything, too. And I love this picture, it's so cute and stuff like that. He's a cutie. <laughs> oh my god, so this next look is the denim look so i went to um my boyfriend's performance my boyfriend sings and sings and raps and stuff get his latest project you gotta love yourself period and his latest single i want you and he has new music coming since like that so i'm gonna definitely put it in the description below and everything too i will play but i'm gonna get copyrighted and stuff like that and i don't know how to get stuff because yeah 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 that's the story. But anyways, back to the look. I did this Balenciaga inspired look. So I saw Alexi Demi. If you don't know who Alexi Demi is, I guess you do not watch Euphoria. If you're not watching Euphoria, well, you need to be watching Euphoria because Alexi Demi is the girl and everything too. And I feel like she's a character I must relate to on the show anyways and stuff because I feel like she's the... She's like the egg girl with a heart. She's like the mean girl with the heart. She's not really a mean girl. She's a good girl she's a really good girl she just don't take no bullshit period and everything and she means what she says she says what she means but she has a heart at the end of the day period but anyway she did this a lot she did this um look this balenciaga look this from one of the fashion shows so i don't know what the hell that song was so i wanted to recreate the look and stuff like that so i went to the thrift store and bought these oversized denims i was like six times big and stuff like that so i made the top and stuff like that and i did it actually on one of my mannequins and stuff like that i have like a mannequin like a dressmaker mannequin in here and then i just recreated the look and everything and it came out phenomenal and i wore it to the event i got a lot of comments on the outfit so when i was out because actually it was out it was really really warm 
to wear this outfit but it's one of them outfits i feel like i can only wear like one time and i really want to take this i want to wear it again but i just don't know where i feel like i may wear it again in patty and so too bad i don't want to get photographed in it again and so too but i'm trying to figure out how can i like change the look up or something like that but we'll see i'm gonna figure out a place to wear this again because i feel like it needs to be working because it was such a dope ass outfit but i feel like it's one of those outfits you just only can wear one time i have some feelings about that I'm ready to but it's gonna be archive because it does forever uh, archive we had to talk about the red book tour party so background with this look and everything too so i got my friend paul and stuff to his best friend um, was doing a rainbow party and he said but he wanted to make it the category be couture and why everybody came as like in couture pieces and I was like I would love to go to that and everything to and everything so he eventually he invited me and so to shout out to um Ted that's his name he um invited me but um so I towards the, like the week up I did not know what I was gonna wear and I was like oh my god the pressure's on because like this is a purple tour party, so I'm like, people are probably gonna be bringing it and everything too. So I did not know what I was gonna wear, but I had this idea in my head. So I was like, on Amazon, Amazon's one of my favorite places to shop for stuff and everything for clothing. A lot of pieces I've been buying lately is going from Amazon. But um, I had this look in my head, I was like, what happened if I can do this? And every day, so I saw this purple dress, I said, what if I can get this ruffle look? And I saw this picture, um on pinterest and stuff and it was from one of the valentino shows i'm not sure which season it was but it was this lilac gown that had a bunch of ruffles so like that's how i'm gonna do something like that very dramatic and stuff like that too so when it happened is i found the dress it was like a little cocktail one shoulder dress then i had a a, like a pregnancy it was like a pregnancy gown like a ruffle gown like an oversized gown so what i did was i had to pull in a gown i had to take two it almost looked like two people to do this for me so and i went over to my friend's drew's house to like get dressed up and stuff like that and everything so and we took pictures and everything and shout out to drew he did such a phenomenal phenomenal job shooting my pictures for this look and so yeah i put in the ruffle gown and stuff like that and i put the dress over which was kind of very hard to do and then i took the belt that was supposed to go for like the gown part with the ruffles i made it into a necktie and everything then i accessorized it with um tights with these um it was like stone tights that was a matching color and then i did it with some glasses and stuff and everything to sport it up a little bit and to make it look more contour like off the runway like if they would have styled it on balenciaga or valentino or something like that and everything so i want to add a streetwear element to it and then i did with the horse my horse bejewel bag and everything clutch and, and it turned out phenomenal like phenomenal and that thing was like so hard to work walk it was like so hard to like move around i had to like get help to enter the car because my train was so long and so yeah but it looked turned out phenomenal and i'm like really proud and that was like a lot for me it was really that was one of my looks i was like i'm doing the most right now and i'm kind of doing the most sometimes but that's when i feel like oh child you don't want the most baby and it looks so iconic i don't think i'm gonna ever wear it wear it again because it's like a literal it's like a, that piece is literally like couture that's a, a look i'm saying i wore it to this one event period and i got the pictures for it and i don't think i ever even photograph again in a picture so yeah it it got his it got his due diligence and everything too and everyone loved the look and everything too so, yeah. so guys it's gonna be the end of this video and everything thank you guys for watching so much and going down these looks with me and everything and it was, it was very good going down this memory train and everything some looks and i can't wait to see the future looks i do and everything and i feel like i have some good ideas and stuff of uh, everything so i hope this video inspires you and stuff like that and i hope you guys tell me what looks you like and rate what ones you like and rate the looks and stuff like that which one's your favorites and stuff too and make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to this video and share it period 
and thank you for supporting me and everything too and i can't wait to come with some more vlogmas videos and future content going further and everything too for you guys so thank you and i love you guys Thank you.